So, uh, God recently brought to my attention that like I um sometimes I want to yeah. run I want to run away when things get difficult, and then he he um pointed out to me that like so like slavery, and like like sometimes y'all. I'm um this is true for everyone, but um I'm taught I, I I want to bring attention to this specifically to the black community because our history is crazy. Like we really have like thoughts that are not even our own. They come from generation generational trauma, generational thoughts. Like you could actually be having thoughts that are not your like your reactions to things and stuff happening. Um, can a hundred percent be a result of your ancestors and generational thoughts and generational trauma. That's crazy. Like that's real crazy. Like things get hard, and I like want to run away, and like God dropped that on my spirit. Like actually, there, there, there's a direct connection between you know, those thoughts and, like, the history of Black people and, and slavery. <laughs> like, us wanting to, our ancestors immediately wanting, wanting to get away from the trauma, what was happening to them. And it's really important that we know these things because if we're aware of them, then we can be like, okay. Because sometimes you want away from from stuff that's not really a threat to you. Um, and that you need to be doing, but you, but you see it as a threat. Yeah, that's wild, right? And then, like, as I was talking and I looked at my shirt, it says Resilient AF, right? Um, and, like, there's a connection there, right? Like, especially as black women, we're always seen as resilient and we can we can make it through hard times and all that stuff. And black women, we know like that trope is like very frustrating sometimes because we're human. And sometimes we just want to relax. We don't want to be a strong black woman. Like I, I, I said like, uh, when I was going through it sometime like early 2021, I think it was. I was like, yo, I'm tired of having to be resilient. Like, I'm tired of going through these things that that are making me, like, have to be resilient. Like, I don't have a choice, right? Because what's the, what's the alternative if you're not resilient? You die.